Jojo Siwa has officially hit rock bottom. After witnessing her drunken Disneyland a few months ago, things have only gotten more cringe. She's been caught lying about her new song trending, and even lying about being a part of the Eurovision contest. It's gotten so bad that not even the Karma Beast can save her now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show on day 233 of Jojo Siwa's addiction of humping people and rubbing herself. And now it's got even worse and more sexual since her recent photo shoot where she pulled a man spread. In my last video, we covered a new music video that she released, which is titled Guilty Pleasure. Apparently her and her music is our guilty pleasure, but that's totally incorrect. You are everybody's life-threatening chore. Why did you that I just got on stage and now it's our new EP, Guilty Pleasure! <laughs> I mean, seriously, I almost passed away watching this. I mean, that move alone must be fucking illegal. Who the fuck tells somebody to come here like that? Jerry, come here. You wanna come, Jerry? See, I should be in prison just for that. Yeah, I actually feel sick. She also decided to play around with some dangerous construction equipment known as a jackhammer, which uh, went handsomely. And then she continued with some more humping and then a tampon of some sort. Fell out of Georgia's crotch area during a powerful ground slam. All in all, it was a good day. But now, ladies and gentlemen, she's decided to take her bad girl energy over to Poland, and she's even singing her songs in Polish. Well, throw me off a cliff and call me Mufasa. I didn't know Georgia could speak Polish. That's because she can't. Because she's shit. <laughs> As a Polish person, I don't know what the hell she said. That's not Polish. That's shoe polish. I don't know if I should fart or cry. Well, I think that last comment settled everything. I mean, you achieve a 48 hour streak in Duolingo and suddenly you've mastered every single language, despite Polish being one of the hardest languages an English speaker can learn. And anyway, I thought you'd go to Poland, not f***ing Indonesia. I mean, you try to speak the Polish language, but you can't even get the correct flag right in the description. Have a day off, will you? I best not come after her too much, though. She might whip out the dominant lesbian on me. Seriously. Who gave this person permission to use the internet? Look, we need to start rolling out internet bans. A stat. But as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, we last left off watching Georgia Siwa's new music video, Guilty Pleasure. And prior to that, she released her song, Karma, which performed terribly. I, mean, I don't know what's worse, how bad the song was, or the fact that she called this outfit the Black Beast. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what sort of name is that? Who calls, who calls it the Black Beast? I mean, what the f***? <laughs> Jojo Siwa's first song back, Karma, actually performed so badly it became one of the most disliked music videos in 2024. And she posted a response to that on TikTok where she celebrated it and displayed a mass amount of joy. I guess this is her way of trying to prove to all the haters that she's really not that bothered about her music video performing badly, even though shortly after, she got absolutely shit faced just to numb the pain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just tread carefully here. It does seem as if the black beast is hunting us. I mean, it's just staring at us. Like we're some sort of wounded animal. It's getting ready to finish us off. Fourth place, we have Yes And by Ariana Grande with 290,000 dislikes. Coming in hot at number three, we've got the brand new Women's World by Katy Perry with 330,000. Yes, Could you be any more aggravating? <laughs> Look, her voice is already annoying enough. We don't need to, to emphasize on certain words because it's making my life a living hell right now. Oh my god, I can't believe this music video got 263,000 <sighs> dislikes. And your number one first place overall goes to Karma by Jojo Siwa with an astonishing, record-breaking 3.1 million dislikes! I mean, yeah, your, your music video was the most disliked in 2024, and you should be happy about that. Yeah, everybody hates me. I'm so happy. I mean, she passes it off as if there's something to celebrate and that she's really happy about it and, you know, trying to act like she's not bothered, but it's fine. We know it bothers her. We know. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, back to her going to Poland. She posted a few TikToks announcing that she was going to Poland and also made some TikToks of her being in the airport. And apparently the reason that she claimed she was going to Poland was because her song was trending there. So if we're going based off that logic, my video is currently trending in Libya. 
So I'm going there on holiday tomorrow. So it's official, ladies and gentlemen. Giorgio Siwa went to Poland. What a big surprise. <laughs> Probably the biggest surprise Poland's had since the surprise attack from Germany in 1939. Get ready with me to travel to Poland. So long story short, in the last couple of days, a couple of weeks, my song, Yesterday's Tomorrow's Today, has been blowing up in Poland. But you'd never guess that Jojo Siwa is a pathological liar, would you? Because it turns out that the song wasn't trending in Poland. In fact, the people in the comment section that was actually from Poland claimed that they've never even heard of her song. Me looking at the Polish Spotify charts, but finding no sign of Jojo Siwa. I mean, did you even bother trying to search for the Black Beast? I mean, you can literally search on the web to try and find out where her song was trending, and it turns out it just wasn't actually trending in Poland. It wasn't trending anywhere. She just made it up. But you know what? She still went to Poland, and thank God she didn't try and make the Polish people sing her song like she did in Disneyland. I'm drunk in Disney World. I'm edgy now. I mean, what's edgier than getting sh face in a child's amusement park? You know what I mean? Not just that, but she had an epic cringe moment when she when she tried to get people to sing along with her lyrics to Karma. And it was an epic fail, and it should be a part of those epic fail compilation videos. Wish. Wish. Yeah, sounds like you really know the song. Sorry, Giorgio, if you are trying to rebrand yourself, why would you be trying to get people to sing along in Disney World, a place where kids go? <laughs> that would have been a near-death experience. Speaking of near-death experiences, lots of people were hoping that Giorgio Siwa would have been hit by a fuck. Bus. I mean, poop people are brutal. What can you say? Several comments were like, oh god, no, the bus, you were so close. Close to literally trampling and murdering George Osiwa. Why couldn't you just be closer? That's what people were saying, that's not what I'm saying. I mean, I think it's quite f***ing stupid anyway to literally not be able to go anywhere without dancing to your own song. I mean, the amount of times she posted a video in Poland dancing to her own music. Are you really that self-obsessed? I mean, yeah, she is. She's got, she's got a f***ing cardboard cutter of herself and a room. That's designated just to her. And that says it all. I mean, seriously, that is a whole ass room right there. That's just dedicated to her. I mean, seriously, look at her in this one. She's literally laying down in the middle of the fucking road. Yeah. 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 I use Google Translate, but if you don't know what that means in English, it means get me my fucking gun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a few more things to go through, specifically the Eurovision scandal, and also her sexually charged uh, photo shoot, I guess. And usually I like to save the best until last, but to be honest with you, I have no idea what's worse, the pathological lion or the insane man spread. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, just checking my notes real quick, I totally forgot about this. So, recently there was a New York Fashion Week, and George O.C. would actually attend it. And her outfit, honestly, was probably on the brink of insanity. Yeah, this was her at the New York Fashion Week, she seems to be wearing some sort of fluffy ball. And to compliment her fluffy ball, she wore some monstrous green furry boots. I mean, what in the f*** is that? Oh, but I've seen that fluffy ball before. That was the fluffy ball that my mum had on her keychain. I mean, you could buy those on Amazon. So you're telling me that George Siwa went to the New York Fashion Week dressed as a key ring? Hey, listen, don't hate, all right? If good ideas were a person, that... You're looking at one. You're looking at a good idea. I really wish I could wear something that makes people talk. Oh, you got that. Uh, you got But anyway, the song that was apparently trending in Poland was her new one, which is titled Yesterday's Tomorrow's Today. And due to it apparently being trending in Poland, this is how she was able to get involved with the Eurovision. Let me remind you also that one of the lyrics in this song is every tomorrow is a day we won't get back. We, we haven't had tomorrow yet. It hasn't happened. It's still in the future. So we can't possibly get something that we haven't had yet. And I initially jokingly replied to the comment saying yes. Um, but now it's actually become a real conversation. And Eurovision's into it. Um, we're talking with um, the people in Poland. Okay, so apparently it's in the works. It's a serious thing that's apparently going to happen according to Jojo Siwa. Eurovision, if you don't know, is like a singing competition where each person from each country in Europe goes to compete against one another and then the best country comes out on top, I guess. <laughs> so she mentioned that she's actually going to Eurovision to compete and represent the country of Poland. She's doing this because she has Polish ancestry, apparently. Oh, well, it seems like she's having a major breakthrough, huh? Exciting times, Jojo Siwa and the Eurovision. <laughs> 
Although Eurovision did respond, claiming that they had absolutely no recollection of having that conversation with Jojo Siwa and that she was apparently lying. BBC released an article claiming we haven't spoken to Jojo Siwa. Say Polish Eurovision bosses. Yeah, you know it's bad when the other member of the conversation has absolutely no f***ing clue what you're talking about. So she just straight up lied for no reason. I, I believe that is called a pathological liar. Why would you lie? It didn't gain or benefit you in any way. Most of your audience probably doesn't even know what the f***ing Eurovision is anyway, because they're American. So why lie? <laughs> What's the f***ing point? You guys, I've been in conversations and it turns out that I actually have three legs. I got three legs, guys. I, my, my third leg is massive. You know, you know, my last YouTube video was actually on YouTube trending. Yeah. It was actually voted the most entertaining video of 2024. So it seems like that she has a knack for lying for no apparent reason whatsoever. Like, first of all, she got the f***ing Polish flag wrong. Then she claimed her song was trending in Poland, even though nobody had any f***ing idea who she was. And then because her song was trending in Poland, apparently the Polish Eurovision reached out to her, asking her to represent the country in the contest. Yeah, well, I've got 32-inch biceps as well. But luckily, ladies and gentlemen, Jojo Siwa has indeed now left Poland, and she's gone back to the US to drink some more alcohol. So it's safe to say peace has been restored in Poland. You know, she's got this bad girl energy now. Who the f*** knows what she'll do to people? She might become an arsonist. You know, speaking of bad girl energy, her song Karma, you know, I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. Well, let's just see exactly how bad she was, is it? You know, because she was on this show a few years ago and uh, she was displaying very bad nature, very bad girl nature. I want you to know that it's really cool to listen to your mom. I'm gonna break it down. <laughs> Eat your veggies, do your math, eat your homework, that's not my words. Get all your chores done. It's so much fun. Yeah, that, that actually slaps. Why is that better than anything she's released present day? Yeah, that's exactly what a bad girl who did some bad things would say. It's really cool to listen to your mom. Get all your chores done. It's so much fun. Damn, son. What a bad bitch. Just be the bad girl, guys, that listens to your mom. Be the bad girl that does everything everybody expects of you. I think this whole, like, song with karma, this whole, like, I was a bad girl, I did some bad things, is honestly a load of horse shit. You never did anything bad. You wore fucking bows in your hair. You dressed in sparkles. Y you did f all. I mean, what did you do? Not hold the door open for a kid one time? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, she is now doing some bad things, and uh, it's safe to say she has become a bad girl. Sounds strange to say that. The Daily Mail celeb posted Jodo Siwa has once again left her fans divided after posing for very racy Lady Gun magazine cover shoot as she goes viral for continuing to brush off her child star image. Some followers wrote, Jojo, there's still time to delete this. All right, let's, uh, let's see what they're talking about. It can't be that bad. You're holy f***. I mean, you're putting your whole world on show to everybody. I mean, that man spread is just absolutely wild. Like, you got your crotch out and everything, you got some steel toe cap boots on? Is that- is that- is that what that is? And also, she's got some sort of glitter top with, uh, with nipples. It seems- it seems like male breasts, perhaps? I- yeah, it doesn't look like woman's breasts, so, I don't know, maybe it is. I haven't seen a female breast in a while. I mean, she really is just trying to bury the, the old child star that she once was. I mean, f***ing hell, she's got a six-pack and everything. And there's a second picture where she seems to be grabbing onto this, uh, some sort of plastic pink sheet while gripping her crotch area. I don't know if I can show this, but the crotch area does seem to have some sort of penis imprint in it. Not sure why you, you, you do that. I, it's concerning to say the least. I mean, I don't know what the f*** to say at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm f***ing lost for words. I mean, you know, is there anything wrong with a woman that wears underpants with a, a penis imprinted into it? Is that okay now? Is that... Wh where are we at in today's day and age? Is, is this accepted? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> for me, it's weird, all right? Sorry, you know, you don't like it, but for me, it's weird. I mean, it's just the whole, like, you know, the, the chest plate with the, the whole male pecs and then the six pack and then the penis imprint and then the fucking steel toe cap boots I mean, what the fuck's going on I mean, this is art guys this is this is art this is what that is it's it's art Jojo what's the place you are holding <laughs> this ain't it this ain't it honey it ain't it what the fuck are you wearing on your chest man what do you guys make of this transformation I know you know she used to wear fucking bows now she's wearing yeah. <laughs> so it seems that Jojo Siwa has now become some sort of pathological liar and also loves grabbing her crotch and dry humping things and wearing strange little fluffy balls to the New York City 
whatever it's called. Comment down below, guys. What do you think of George Siwa? I'm very anxious to find out. Let's see if you all agree with me or not. If you don't, that's just fine. You can just let me know. But, but just let me know, guys. Let me know what you're thinking, all right? Thank you all for watching the video. I am still unwell. Still, after like fucking like a week and a half, what is going on? It's the fluff dumps, as pheromones are consuming me. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Check out my other videos. If you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you enjoyed the other ones also. Subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach 120k by the end of the month, and I'll see you all in the next one.